Greetings and welcome to this Easter Sunday service. A day we have been waiting for, it is here today. I am Apostle Catherine Mambwe, a member of the Council of Twelve Apostles. I am sharing with you from Lusaka, Zambia. Zambia is in the South Central Africa. Our scripture reading today is coming from the Gospel of John 20, verse 21. And our theme is entitled, Christ, peace, breathe new life. Christ's peace, breathe new life. It was a day after Christ's resurrection. The disciples had shut the doors and were meeting in private for fear of the Jews. Although they had no such expectations, Jesus himself appeared in the midst of them, having miraculously and silently opened the doors. As Christ stood among them, he said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Breathe is crucial to our existence. But we often don't think about the power of our breathing. We breathe with flexibility as unconscious movement. When we have the breath of God, there is the power of life. Jesus breathed his last breath on the cross as he died for the sins of the world. Then he burst forth with resurrection power and he breathed the newness of life. I was with my uncle when he was on his hospital bed. I recognized his last breath in, the, in his final moment of his life. And I realized how blessed we are to receive the gift of breathing new life all the time. I thought of the experience as a disciple of Jesus Christ at that time. The day after the resurrection meeting behind closed doors, living in fear, I see, the I see the reflection of this today. The pandemic has forced us to distance from one another, to keep ourselves and others well. And there is fear. How do we move forward? If you notice, Christ said, Peace be with you three times. This is an encouragement to us to continue and promote peace in our communities. There is hope. There is the miracle of science and technology to help us connect again, like I am doing today. And we have comfort and peace that God is with us. God has not abandoned us, my dear brothers and sisters. The peace of Jesus Christ is with us. We can open our hearts and let down what divides us. It's going to be okay. Just as it was with the disciples, so it will be with us also. Isolation will be over and fear will subside as God continues to breathe new life on us. Jesus took his last breath on the cross for the sins of the world. And then he took the first breath of resurrection. This is our story. 
There is redemption for all those who seek to take their first breath as a follower of Christ. God fills the life-giving breath, but we have to empty ourselves first. We bring the promise and challenge to this time of sacrament and covenant renewal. As we release whatever holds back from experiencing the fullness of Christ's peace, we increase the capacity to focus on what matters most in Christ's mission. Let us work to promote peace among us as a people of this wonderful community. We are called to embrace and embody Christ's peace on earth and for the earth. <laughs>